Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is Maximum X Gamer. This video is a review of a toy from the new Batman movie, The Dark Knight Rises. Part three of the brilliant franchise, which started in 2005, I believe, and the second part came out in 2008. And we have this to look forward to later on this year in 2012. If you're watching this on playback, it's already out and everyone's already seen it. The box itself is almost 3D in the way it's presented. It doesn't have the the customary plastic cover and it's try me buttons. There's it's not there is some sounds to it. At the back it illustrates what you are able to do with this model. It comes with a Batman glider. Once you open the box, I just wanted to quickly show you one of the new way in which the toys are binded to the box and this is how quickly you can loosen the toy itself I think it's so much easier it all comes apart quite easily well first impressions it is a large toy and if you haven't seen the pictures at the beginning of this video of this uh, it's, well, it's referred to as the bat and this one comes with two projectiles at the front one has a sound the other one doesn't there's so many of these pictures out but it looks mean and I'm sure it's going to look excellent in the film and this is a side view basically you see a better profile and you can see Batman in the cockpit and you've got the two projectiles on either side of and side view profile looks brilliant going back to the actual model it ha they have done quite an excellent job in recreating the bat and as you can see it's on side rear profile it is a large toy it feels cheap but the quality is in the detail there's a space there for a figure at the bottom you've got the it's a shame they're not automated or battery operated it would have been quite neat to have them operated automatically but they're still there you've got a handle at the top where you can use it and fly it around and with a flick at the top you can open the cockpit where you would fit the Batman glider. The actual product itself feels very light and maybe that's another reason why I think it feels a bit cheap. If you fit a figure into the space provided it probably will feel heavier and better. As you just heard, the sound effects from this toy is really loud and it has an echoey effect which reminded me of Michael Mann's film Heat which had the same realistic, loud, echoey sound after the bank siege. The figure that goes into the actual device is this Batman which is basically made out of foam and it comes already attached to a glider so you can't take it apart and use it as a figure. And it's very light and and all you don't need to do is just slot it into the actual bat. Once you place the bat into the slider you have a little mechanism just underneath the device and it's on almost like a slingshot so you need to pull back on the slingshot and it kind of loads. So I've slowed down the footage just to show you how fast the bat leaves. So basically the way it works is, as you can see, just, I can just about focus on into it. You need to line up the actual glider, the Batman foam glider, into the actual, actual bat itself by aligning the slots. And as I showed you earlier, you just need to spring load it from the bottom to load the actual Batman glider. Here's also a, a quick close-up look of the cockpit where you would uh, place the two figures the glider and also the back man figure itself anyway overall I think um, 
it is a nice touch it's a shame as i said earlier that the blades at the bottom didn't have or should i say the propellers at the bottom didn't have an automatic turn or some battery powered and that's the only thing that lets it down here's another show of the batman leaving i think it is really good toy it is excellent replica of the bat that will be seen in the new batman rising film and i think uh, it's definitely one to have for the collection it uh, reminds me also of Avatar, it's a very similar design. Uh, as I said before, the sound effects are brilliant. Uh, the actual, uh, the way you load, spring load the projectiles at the front, if I can line it up. Um, it's easy enough, it's just like any other toy. But I hope you like this review of the bat from the up and coming film Batman Rising. This was Maximum X Gamer signing out.